And <laughs> I said, yes. Welcome, welcome, ladies. I have a big surprise for you. I want to introduce you to Lisa Goldenthal. She is our newly engaged, never been married, bride to be, right around the corner. It's so exciting. Lisa. Yay. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. I'm dying to know. Um, what are the highlights? Uh, you just recently got engaged and tell us your timeline, tell us the highlights, tell us all the fun, good stuff, and then we'll get into the things that maybe held you back from finding Marty. Sure. Well, I mean, I just want to inspire you guys and give you hope because I feel like if you have a big goal and you have a vision and you just sometimes get knocked down and I feel like getting knocked down is good because it just made me more resilient, more gritty, just go back in the war, back in the game. And I never gave up on my goal to meet a great guy. And I finally did. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is so exciting. Me too. So tell us like how you, you know, how you met, where you met, tell us about what led up to the engagement and your plans for the future. Well, we met on match.com. It's been almost seven months ago that we met. We got engaged on our six month anniversary in Hawaii. It was maybe three days after our six month anniversary. Um, just from the beginning, I just had a feeling that he had values and integrity. And I hate to LA bash, but I'll just do it. A lot of the people I've met in the past don't have the values that I was looking for and the integrity of doing what they say they're going to do. Like that impresses me the most. Of course, he's handsome. I'm attracted to him. And, and he treats me well, but I always felt that he's that old fashioned kind of guy that just like that. has my back. He has values and he really does what he says he's going to do. So important in every relationship. I really encourage women to make sure you find a man who walks his talk. So tell, tell us how, you know, where you got engaged. Tell us about your engagement story and what your plans are for your wedding. Well, I'll tell you, it was kind of, I kind of almost blew it because I was just listening to your trainings and so excited. And I knew that he had been given a job offer that wasn't going to be remote anymore in another town, another state. And I was just on our first night of our vacation it was 11, 11, 22, which was such a special date. And I asked him, what is his vision of, uh, of the future? as I heard <laughs> of your videos before, because I I don't want to move somewhere to another state with someone, which was obviously his thought without being engaged. He goes, well, you kind of ruined the surprise. I had something planned for you tomorrow. I'm like, oh, that's okay. I can wait till tomorrow. No. And he was like, no, no, no. Will you marry me? And we were at Swan Court in Maui watching the swans. And it was so romantic. And I happened to be wearing a white lace dress. And <laughs> I said, yes. And then he said, do you want to pick your own ring? And I was like, yes, I really do. That is so fabulous. And especially since you're on such a magical island of Maui, uh, my one of my favorite places in the world. And how romantic. What a beautiful setting. So that's wonderful. I, I really like Marty. I really oh, do. I like so how fun. he just um, stepped up to the plate and he's clear on what he wants and and he went for it. So there are men out there, ladies, that do know what they want. And when they find it, they go for it. So tell us now, what's your timeline? So you met seven months ago. Now you're engaged, what, a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, we, we met. Um, it was, yeah, it'll be almost seven months on the 7th of this January or whatever month it is, December, sorry. And um, everything is a celebration with us. I love how we always celebrate. Like, this is our first month anniversary. This is our second month anniversary. And he really, like, swept me off my feet. So I, I really want to give you guys hope that it's possible because I have dated the wrong guys before. And I've been, my heart's been broken. And I really never gave up on my dream. I had this vision board. And I look at it. It's nailed to my wall. and. And I have changed the year a few times, but I never changed the goal. I never changed the vision. I really wanted to be married. That's so wonderful, Lisa. And I just couldn't be happier for you. Tell us a little bit about what, what you thought you might be doing wrong. What was holding you back to, from finding love? 
Right. I love that question because I actually don't think there's anything wrong with me. I think I've been accused before of being too nice. And I know in my really, really wanting to meet someone, I have had weaker boundaries before, which does the opposite of what you think. Like you think, wow, I really wanted to work with this guy. I'll be so flexible, like Gumby and, you know, oh, you can only see me on the weekends. Fine. Not to call me during the week. Not fine. But I was just like, I let it go because I really wanted to make it work with somebody and what I've learned from you and your trainings and your coachings and your videos, which I love on YouTube, is that when you have firm boundaries, that's what men are attracted to. And I used to be a little bit more of an emotional person in relationships, and, and that's held me back too. And I realized when things happened, when I didn't react, that impressed him even more. Oh, I love that. So basically weak boundaries. So you were making exceptions all over the place because you want, you really wanted to be married right. and that worked against you because then men didn't respect you and you ended up picking men that weren't right for you and probably had some bad behavior just oh, all yeah. of sacrificing now for the payoff later, but it doesn't work that way. And I'm glad you said that having boundaries is so important because men do respect you. They want a woman. They don't want a doormat. They want a woman who has a backbone, who, who has the clarity of how to be treated, how they want to be treated. And men will step up and treat you well, or they'll fall away. And you just have to have the courage to allow the, those men to self-select out. Right. So I'm glad that you emotionally grown so much that you were able to finally step into your real power, your personal power. Thank so, you. Because you know what? I don't, that's the good thing about getting older for me. I think the older I get, the bolder I get, the more I'm willing to say, this is what I want right yeah. in the beginning. And, and not even in so many words, but make it obvious what I want and what I don't want. Like I've become bolder as I've gotten older. And I like that bolder as we get older. So would that just be your behavior really matched what you said? You said, no, I want to go to bed at 10. I want to be home by 930. And then that's it. That's what you're not afraid with. to say my truth anymore. That's so powerful. What what changed? Why did you become fearless? I love myself now. I really don't know if I always did. And, and it sounds painful to admit, but I really worked on looking at my vision, never giving up on my vision, loving myself more. I have a really, like I'm the real striver type A type person and always seeing what isn't there and what's missing. And I started to learn how to really love myself more exactly how I am. I love that. That is so beautiful. I got a little tear when you said love myself because that's, I know it sounds so woo woo or it sounds like you know, yeah, 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 I'll do that. Or I do love myself. But boundaries, when you set boundaries, it is showing that you love yourself because you put yourself first. And if you don't, then they won't. So I'm so happy to hear you say how much you love yourself. And so you met online, right? You met on right. match. Any tips for the ladies about how you became, I guess, good at good at um, online dating? Well, I think some of your courses actually have some tips about actually how you write your profile and, and swipe swipe files that you can just make yeah. your own. And I'm oh, really my swipe right course, course, right? Yeah, yeah that's a great course. It really helps you have a strategy more right. than anything because I think it is a strategy. And if you follow it, you can avoid burnout and just avoid all those pitfalls that plague so many women by not knowing really how to to approach online dating. And also I have another tip for your audience too, that I've noticed that I had to become more flexible as I got older, because I think I was, when I was younger, I'd be like, oh no, that won't work for me. And that won't work for me. And now I realize that if you want to really be in a relationship with a great guy, you have to let some things go and, and not make a big thing about everything. So for me, I don't like football. He likes to watch football. I find it loud and annoying, but I'll just let it go. I have to let more things go. Rigid thinking lacks flexibility. I think that's really powerful. Yeah, Michael loves football and I know how much he loves it. And because he loves it, I like to support him. And I like make special food on game nights or make sure he has, you know, he's dibbed the TV and it's fine for me because he does things for me that are, that aren't maybe interesting to him, but they're important to me. So I think that's a good give and take in a relationship. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. Like he'll do yoga with me and I'll let him watch his football and play golf. Awesome. Like even when we're on vacation in Hawaii, I used to get triggered by going to Hawaii with guys that wanted to play golf. And yes. I was like, go play golf. I want you to play golf, honey. Good. That's awesome. All these little things really lead to him making the decision that you were right for him. So we already discussed, you know, you needed better and clear boundaries of uh, just not settling for bad behavior and loving yourself more. So without going back into your childhood history and all of that. So I, without, you know, over explaining everything, I think that what you shared in a nutshell is pretty much the key self-love boundaries and having a strategy online. And of course we could go down and talk about each of those conversations even more, but I think that that's, those are really great tips and ladies, make sure you're looking at um, my videos and or joining one of my programs to learn about boundaries and and how to love yourself, because I think that's the key to everything. And it's key to happy life. And so tell us really quick before we end, like, when's the wedding? And give us some details about the exciting stuff. It, well, it's all happening so quickly, like literally, um, I don't know when you're watching this, but less than a month ago, we got engaged. And I, I slowly started telling people without telling anyone. And then I, I started on this Friday telling everybody and my posts have gone viral on social media because I was really <laughs> heartfelt about how important it was that I had. A You're a first time bride, Lisa. That's like huge. And, and, and I'm so happy that I think how you do one thing is how you do everything. So I think it'll help me in every aspect of my life being successful in this one area that has eluded me for so long. And I never gave up. So um I'm looking at dresses this weekend. We designed the ring. Hopefully within a week, I'd be getting that thing or two. Um, and then we're looking at houses. We're going to move. And we made an offer on a house. And um, everything's happening fast. I've looked at catering for weddings. And um, I'm just knocking things out one at a time. I'm having an engagement party. And I really want to celebrate this time of, of just accomplishing a goal that was really elusive for so long oh and so with the wedding right around the corner so ladies I just want to say something at how quickly this timeline went for Lisa I am all for the fast tracking you you to love because I think the older we get the more clear we are with what we want the more we are working on ourselves doing that inner work and self-discovery we do know and time is of the essence as we're getting older and I think men realize that too and when they meet a woman that they click with right away there's no reason to wait, in my opinion. I think you have the tools now to have a healthy, harmonious relationship with Marty. So why wait? You're ready to just get on with your life and, and settle down with this wonderful man. And I couldn't be happier for you. Thank you. I just want you guys to know that if you do the inner work and you start to be a little flexible in your approach, because I see so many people that I know like, oh, I can't take this and I can't take that. And I've been there and I think it's a way of self-sabotage. It's a way of holding you back from true love because true love requires that you love the person enough to bend for them. Yeah, exactly. Without violating your own boundaries. So ladies, if you're looking for additional support, you can follow me on YouTube or you can reach out to me on my website, engagedatanyage.com and check out my private coaching package or some of my courses so that you can fast track your own journey to love. And I certainly want to support you if that's your intention. All right. Thank you, Lisa, again, for being here. Sending you all so much love. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future episodes. Bye-bye. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles, screaming out your name. Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night